Hey guys, and welcome to this video on Metal Gear Solid 5, where I'm going to be attempting the FOB mission Mosquito's Legacy, which is one of the event ones. I am running with this equipment, a Assault Rifle Sniper, a Airsoft Secondary Weapon Stun Arm, and then you can see all my support weapons and items there. Obviously playing as a good old snake, and I will be going in daytime. So if you don't know what FOB missions are, essentially in the game you have a platform out at sea called your FOB, Forward Operating Base and you can invade enemy FOBs like I am doing now. This one doesn't belong to me, this is someone else's, and in fact this is a... I shouldn't have done that, I should have scouted enemies first. But this is an event special one which you can take part in, you can invade it in order to, to get event points which you can use to redeem special camouflage and weapons and things like that, special one-off things. So, you, you familiarise yourself with the layout of these bases pretty well after doing numerous ones, and they can vary in security levels, you can get different kind, or well, because usually they belong to other players, the players can customise what their security has, so there are going to be security guards around this map, and players can even go and defend them themselves. It's a really cool concept they introduced in Metal Gear Solid 5, and I actually wanted to do a weekly PvP series on it. I, I don't know why I said weekly PvP, I guess technically it is PvP. But regardless, I wanted to do a weekly series on it where I invaded various FOB bases, of increasing difficulty. I nearly let myself be seen by this person up here. I will... Ooh, is that that? Okay, that's not a decoy. This is in fact a person. So let's get up and interrogate him to find out the position of the other guards. I did get seen by someone who, yeah, he's in a lookout spot. So let's try and drag him out of sight. Then I will choke him. And if there's nobody too close, then I will extract him. However, I am worried about the closeness of the enemy. Okay, this guy has seen me. I'm going to try and knock him out with my SMG. That is not an SMG. I forgot I was using a shotgun pistol. Okay, that doesn't have a silencer like I thought. And I have now alerted them to my position. And this guy has seen me, but now that I've alerted them to my presence, I'm not too worried about complete stealth. If the enemy doesn't know where I am, then they still won't come after me. So as long as I stop myself being seen well, stop myself being seen without killing the enemy, then I will be able to, well, stop myself, stop the enemy base being alerted, because once it is alerted, they're going to call in reinforcements, they are going to be chasing you, and, well, send, sending a lot of firepower after you, and it's going to be difficult to succeed. If you go full stealth, and you just don't get seen, you don't alert the guards at all, then you are going to, is this a sniper? No, this is for sniper. So... Yeah, if you go full self, you do get more points, and it is generally better to do that, but you can go guns blazing and you can just kill every guard you see if you want. You can also extract the guards to take them to your own FOB, and it's just, it is a really cool system and it's really well implemented, and they do keep updating it, like the frequency of updates is great. I'm going to take a medicine here that reduces my recoil, so I can take out these enemies from a distance. Let's zoom in, and yep, there's no sway at all. This person is, however, swaying their head. I did miss the first shot, and I've still got half durability left on my silencer, so now I just need to take out the few remaining people. He is, however, behind the building. If you're wondering why I can see enemies through walls, it's because the guard told me as to their position. However, I can also use a drug, which will reveal enemy positions through walls. As you can see, there's now a guy up there, and the drug will only last a limited time. But... There's loads of different approaches you can take as to invading someone's FOB, and you can use different equipment, you can go full self, you can go sleep build, you can go silence build, you can go damage build, you obviously have loads of grenades and stuff, like I have a decoy here, if I throw it out, in fact I should just be able to knock him down with it, there we go, and then if any enemy went up to that it would have stunned them, I've obviously got grenades, smoke grenades which are really effective, I've got sleeping mines, there's just loads of stuff you can do, I, there is, if I'm correct, lie down so you can't see me, see me real quick. There is... Okay, fog's approaching, that will benefit me. I need to neutralise some guards with handguns and no kills, no alerts, I've kind of failed that already. Within 300 seconds, I probably could do that, but uh, it, that would require rushing. I do hear an enemy, there we go. So I will stun him with my shotgun pistol. I think I just want to go around. The way it works is there's a certain point in the map and you do need to infiltrate it. Which, if you're... If the enemies are on alert, you can't go in there, so you either need to take them all out or you need to do it in complete stealth. I nearly fell for my own decoy then. I don't know how many more guards I need to neutralise with a pistol, so I will just um, I'll be a bit more reckless here. I'll go up this ladder. 
But yeah, this has been a pretty easy mission, all things considered. Enemies usually either have... Okay, this one is one of the decoys. I'll take him down just for the points. Generally, they have like body armor or they are, have really powerful weaponry and they have faster response. They have a higher detection range. I am in a spot of trouble here. Yeah, my effective range of a pistol wasn't enough. I did kind of alert them there, which was semi-intentional, just so I could ramp up the fight a bit more. But yeah, this is incredibly easy compared to most FOBs. They do honestly vary in difficulty, and there's usually more soldiers. You can get claymores around, you can get security cameras that you need to avoid. You can get um, little UAV drones that all fly around. I think I'm... Oh yeah, it's annoying I alerted it because now there's going to be enemies on the other side of this bridge. And I can see him, but there's no way of killing him right now. So maybe I will just ascend the platform and then I'll quickly take out the generator. I think that might stop the alarm, I'm not certain. But I'll go ahead to the extraction point. I will pop another one of these drugs to see if I can shoot through the fog impact. I don't need that, I've got my vision goggles. And yeah, then I can just take out the, the enemies with these. I will use my automatic weapon, and that's it. I thought I saw an enemy up here. Okay, that's just a decoy. But yeah, this was really easy, I'm sorry for that, but it was a good taste or introduction to the FOB missions. And I really did want to do a video on the Skulls attack, because the Skulls are a special type of unit, and they recently did an event Skulls FOB, which was really cool. But yeah. I, I do want to know whether or not you would like more videos on FOB missions, because they are really fun, and I would like to do more. I, it's just whether or not my viewers kind of want to see Metal Gear Solid content, you do get soldiers from it and materials and good old GMP and then you'll see the event point balance which I got from it in a moment. There's an entire leaderboards and everything to, so it can be really competitive like trying to uh, get the highest espionage score and to infiltrate bases for best as the event point bonus which you can use to get rewards as I said. But yeah, let me know what you thought of this video, let me know if you enjoy Metal Gear Solid 5 content or the idea of it. And until next time, this is me, Evans with Z11, and this is me out. Peace.